Hey guys, it's John, JRB Tree Climbing. You are on the playlist, the JRB Hitch. This is a little unplanned introduction for a video I filmed yesterday, which you're about to watch, which is a strength test of the JRB Hitch, a hitch which I devised and is described earlier on this playlist. It's a quick release hitch, but it's extremely strong and secure. We've just never taken it to failure, and so that's what you're about to see. Unfortunately, in the very first test, I didn't have the camera working properly, so we missed the first break, so you'll be seeing the second one. I proceeded to do a total of five breaks of the hitch. Um, the rope I'm using is a Petzl Paso 7.7 millimeter line, and it has a, it's a rating of both a half and twin rope for climbing. I don't have an exact breaking strength, but I believe it's over 3,000 pounds. In all cases, the JRB hitch remained intact and was able to be released. The first time I did the test, the surprisingly, the rope broke between the two hitches in the center. It should never do that. It should always break in one of the hitches. But it did give me a clue that the hitch is, is very efficient and doesn't create any unnecessary binding forces. In the other four tests, the hitch broke as it entered the hitch. The rope broke as it entered the hitch. And so this video will give you an idea of the forces necessary to, uh, to pull that off. And I hope you enjoy the, uh, the production. I had to rig something up on a, on a tractor to simulate two trees or two tree trunks, which would be representative hosts for the types of climbing and the types of application we do with the JRB hitch. Enjoy. The JRB hitch is a hitch, a knot that I devised and released earlier on this playlist. And I've never done a strength test that takes the hitch to the point of failure. And it has been suggested that the best manner in which to conduct this test is to take the JRB hitch around two hosts and pull it to failure. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Fashioned on uh, this tractor, I have a log, which is the one host, and the other host is this maple tree. Now, I'm working alone today, so there's going to be a little video editing to show you all of the details, but I hope we can get a good test. So I'm going to start by untying this hitch, and then I'll bring you uh, back in a close-up and show you how I tie it. Okay, so this is how I'm fashioning the hitch. There's separate instructions on how to tie it here on the playlist, but I don't spend a lot of time. I don't need to tighten it incredibly. The hitch has some great properties where it's easy to tie. It doesn't need to be set incredibly tightly and it jams under load. Now, if this was a real rigging scenario, uh, let's say an arborist scenario, we might take the tag in and pass it through the loop because that way nothing can accidentally spill the hitch. But for purposes of this test, we're gonna leave the draw loop slack, and that's it. And I've fashioned it the same way on the tree, and we'll give you a close-up of that. Okay, so take one was quite unexpected that the rope severed midline. And so I have reattached JRB hitch to both the tractor and the tree, and we're going to give it another pull. line really nice and short this time so okay let's see what we got On the tree, the hitch is still intact. And on the tractor, it's still intact. It appears that the hitch 
broke as the rope was entering the hitch on the tractor. I'll go ahead and release this line. There it is, there's the brake as it was going in. And on this end, I'll go ahead and release this hitch. So even under extreme loading, this rope is rated uh, over 3,000 pounds. It's rated as a half or twin climbing rope. The hitch is extremely strong and secure. It maintains its integrity and still releases with ease even after extreme loading. Thank you very much.